welcome to this episode of Mountain Sledder Garage. In this episode, we're going to talk about a problem we're starting to see more and more of on the 20 and the 21 Articats. Problem being is in 2020, Articat changed their servo motor and the servo motor pulley. And if you look through the microfiche, it looks like some of the Articats got the old style servo motor and some of the Articats got the new style. But when I look through the, the 2021 microfiche, Seems like all the 2021's got this new style servo motor, except for some of the ones, the dual rails sleds that were shipped over from Europe. So anyway, I'm going to show you what we're talking about here. With this new style pulley on the servo motor, I've seen more and more people having problems with their servo motor cables coming out of the servo motor pulley while they're riding, then causing some running problems with their motor since their power valves aren't working. So we're going to show you what that is, what it looks like. I just saw a sled on Saturday that had this problem started running really bad, pulled the side panel off, and sure enough, both servo motor pulleys cables had come off the servo motor pulley. So anyway, we're going to take a look at that to our TV. Here's our servo motor. This is the one I was talking about on Saturday where they'd come off, pull the side panel off, and both the servo motor cables had come out. Kind of a weird situation. His sled just started running really bad, wasn't pulling RPM, it was running pretty crappy in the mid-range. So anyway, that, that's the new style pulley. Now we're going to show you the old style and this is the old style that pretty much came on all the, all the other Pro Climbs. This is on my 18 and my 19. This style here, you can see that there's no holes for the cables to come out on this. The holes are on the back side here. And part of the servo motor helps keep those cables in place. Where if we go back to the other one, what I'm going to call the new style, they got this, the holes here where the, where the cables can come out this side. I mean, it makes it a lot easier to service the cables, but also we're starting to see a lot of these cables popping out while people are riding. We're going to go over to the Edge Power Sports, an Articat dealership here in Salt Lake, and we're going to show you um, a little bit more of what this looks like, uh, and then our a little fix that we came up with on how to maybe keep these cables from coming out. See, we're at the Edge Power Sports in Draper, Utah. Great Articat dealership. They also have Husqvarna and KTM motorcycles. What we're talking about today, we're going to be looking at the power valve servo motor on the Articat Alphas and the other Articat Hardcore. Okay, so now we're down here in this 2021. This is one of the uh, ones that got shipped over from Europe, one of the dual rail sleds. And for this has what I'm going to call the old style, where you have to get the, valve, the power valve cables out from the back side here. And I think it's going to make it much harder. I've never seen one of these pop the cables out before, like we are on the new style. So we had one in here just last Saturday that had popped the cables out. Now I first thought that it maybe pulled this off here, the a metal tab that holds the cables in, but they were still in and the cables are hanging out. So we're going to show you on the, what I'm going to call the new style that Articat started with in 2020 that I think is what's causing these cables to pop out. Okay, now we're down here on this 20, other 2021. If you can see this, got these holes here where you can pull the cables out this side. That makes it easier when you're servicing these to get the cables out. But also we've seen instances where these cables have been popping out while you're, dry, while you're riding your snowmobile and causing you um, operational running problems. So that can be a problem. We're going to go in the back now and we're going to show you a little fix. We came up for this to keep the cables from popping out. Okay, so we're back here in the shop now looking at the sled. And this is the sled I showed you the picture of earlier where the power valve cables had come off. And to do this little modification, you need two things. I'll need a flat washer like this. This is about an inch and a quarter washer, some blue Loctite. So what you want to do, you're going to want to get down in here where your power valve servo motor is. You're going to want to take off this center nut, pull that off, put a little blue Loctite on it, and then you're going to put the washer back up on top of it. And that's going to plug up the holes that are over here on this side. That's a super easy little fix. Um, the washer probably costs you 10 cents or something at the hardware store. It should keep those cables from coming out again. Um, if you've had a problem with them coming out or it'll keep you from having a breakdown on the trail. So, hope Okay, so that's our little fix for this, the Articat Alpha. Like I said, when I look back through the microfish, it looked like they started putting this new servo motor with the new servo motor pulley on it sometime in 2020 because some of the part numbers are the old part number and some of the part number are this new part number. So if you have one of these sleds, go back, see which one you have. Super simple to put that washer on to keep you from having a breakdown on the trail. So if your power valve cables come off while you're riding, it can cause a pretty big running problem. You're just not going to be able to build the RPMs or have the mid-range that you had before. You're really going to notice. This guy really noticed that there was a big problem on his sled when they popped off during his ride um, before he brought it in. Hope you've enjoyed Mountain Sledder Garage. Subscribe to the channel. 
uh, the little red square YouTube right down there. And we'll see you next time I'm out in Slitter Garage. Um, be safe out there.